Guys, we're out on Tilly Devine today. I'm gonna take y'all out here and show y'all a cool technique I like to do here in the winter time. It's a great way to catch great numbers of fish. Still catch some big fish occasionally. Uh, we're gonna go out, what we're gonna do is look for some deep fish on our electronics. We're gonna be throwing an umbrella rig down through them and slow rolling it through the school. It's really neat. Hopefully we'll be able to go out here and catch y'all uh, catch y'all a bunch of fish. Hopefully catch some doubles. Maybe we can get lucky and catch a big one. Let's go. If I can give you one tip on your Alabama rig fishing, just make sure you throw it out there, let it get down, reel it through slow. Be ready when the fish come up and load up on it. A lot of times they'll come up and just kind of hit it real fast and miss it. You'll see in the videos we've done, uh, a couple of the fish we caught, they come up and hit it. I hit my button, fed some line out real fast and let it go back down and bam, they come out and get it. A lot of times they're so excited when they strike the Alabama rig, they come up and, and will actually just pop at the bait and just test it. As long as you don't jerk it out of there and make it look too unnatural and just keep reeling, boom, they'll get it. Hey guys, we ended up having a real good day on Toledo Bend today, uh, especially for wintertime fishing. Throwing the Alabama rig out in deep water is a great way to catch a lot of numbers. And you'll see, uh, as we did today, every once in a while you'll still catch a couple big fish. But it's a great way to catch good numbers this time of the year when there's not a whole lot of options and ways to catch them. The Alabama rig will really get them to bite. All right, I just want to show you a couple of things we were throwing today on our Alabama rig. Uh, I have two ways I really like to rig it up. Both ways I'm using this, using this new uh, lockdown swim bait jig head that DM's come out with this year. It's a great jig head. Two things I like most about it, it's a super strong hook, which you gotta have with Alabama rig, and then also our new keeper system. Really, really hold the swim bait on there. So as far as rigging up my swim baits, the two I like most is the Hightail Shad, which is a new swim bait. It's out from VNM. If you'll see, what's unique about this is the tail actually points up. It's the only one on the market that does this. So it doesn't rise up quite as fast as other swim baits. But my favorite one is to rig up on an umbrella rig is to have five of these. Four on the outside and one in the middle. And I usually will use smaller jig heads on the outside and a bigger one in the middle. So I would put like eighth ounce around the outside and a quarter ounce in the middle. Um, today, a few of our fish we actually had to catch. We actually had to go down and put just the, the high tail shad in the center to keep that big profile in the center. But we actually went down and used a uh, smaller Thunder Shad Junior. It seemed like in a few places they were feeding on small shad. That's a great way to get some more bites. We still rig it up on the same lockdown swim bait jig head. Um, it just it's nice to have that little subtle action of the thunder shad on there at times when the bite's a little bit tough, but my number one still is the high tail shad. <laughs> 